Um, how do you stay on a plan, your 12 week plan, your nine week, whatever it is to get ready for a meet or a body motion? How do you stay on your game plan and don't go, and you've talked about this, I felt really strong. So I went even heavier outside my numbers or I felt really weak. And so I just dropped them automatically without even testing it. How do you stay on the plan to these people that are listening when you do feel good? Why don't I do a PR today? That's, that's actually really, really easy. The plan, however long it lasts you, starts at week one and ends at week whatever. Week one is based on what you want to hit at the end. If you change anything in the middle, it changes the outcome. And usually what happens is someone will go through a routine. And this can be a routine almost for any sport because every sport in, that you know you train for in the gym has a starting point and an end result. And when you change something, it changes the outcome. But what happens is all of a sudden they go heavier. And it changes the following week and the following week and the following week. So all of a sudden, about uh, 70 to 78 percent, I'd say, of the way through with the routine for, you know, the planned amount of weeks. All of a sudden, you either had no motivation, you can't recover, you're overtrained. You know, there goes my motivation, you know, because they'll blame it on the routine. And when it was really their fault, because they went off routine, it takes you, if you have a path you got to go on that takes you, let's say it's two and a half miles around and you make one alter, uh, altering factor in there halfway through or so. And then all of a sudden you realize that that two and a half miles around took you three miles to get to. And you end up in last place because of it. Because you, you altered it somewhere that screwed the whole thing up. I, Just re- re- remember, it's like it's like school. You don't you don't jump from first grade to tenth grade. You can't. Yeah. Yep. You miss everything in between. All the building blocks are there for a reason to get you to lay down the roots to get you to the end result. Okay, this is a fall-off question from that. But, Ed, you know, I was really strong this next couple weeks. Maybe I chose bad numbers, and so I'm going to go extreme because I'm the one individual that can outwork everybody else, and I'll get to that strength regardless. It won't work. You'll be you'll you'll be overtrained. The the perfect the purpose of the routine is to get you the result that you foresee and your strengths are changing all the time and remember that you're trying to peak for an end result if you mess up the peak in between it's like you know running up a flight of stairs instead of running up one one stair at a time all of a sudden you try to do three and then you fall that was your fault you should have stick to the game plan you would have got there faster than you normally would have if you make a mistake you make a mistake you fall down a lot of times people have to learn that a little bit but a lot of times when they do it they just quit because they had motivation they didn't have passion it's like i mean i made a lot of mistakes growing up i used to just read the magazines and try what everyone else did until i just you know off shot that and found the little nuances that fit me. And sometimes you have to do that. And that's okay because I'm in it for the long haul because this is what I truly love. To to do the work in the gym is actually the easy part. Every time we have walked in the gym because we lasted so long is a gift we give to ourselves because we love it. Whether, you know, you lift more weight, whether you get leaner, whether you get bigger, whether you know what what it, what the the pump, what whatever it is, the camaraderie of training hard with somebody, what whatever it is, that was the the part that 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 led us and kept us there because we loved it. It's never a chore for me to go in the gym. 
it's, it was my savior. I love it. I still love it to this day. I love it. I love it. Um, uh, okay. This is kind of, we kind of just talked about it, but 